your joy need to guide you. It can be a compass, it can be a GPS, but it guides you towards your joy. So if you didn't take that first step of opening yourself into the world yeah. and giving, mm. nothing can come back that, because there's no opportunity yeah. to come back. Just what you mentioned now, I think the biggest thing is you won't, you will never wake up at four or five or six if there's no reason for you to wake up. Yeah, and I think, yeah. and I think I call it my icky guy, but something, yeah. something I wake up in the morning that's bigger than myself. Yeah. And if we can all find our purpose and all three of us, our purpose are different yeah. and nothing wrong with that. That makes us unique and, yeah. and authentic. Yeah. Um, but if you have something to wake up in the morning that, that's bigger than yourself, then you will be, jump up and you will be happy to go and you also have something planned for four o'clock i mean right. you won't sorry you won't jump up at four yeah and just be there yeah I mean, just sit <laughs> so there and then almost go find something <laughs> yeah exactly you have a specific book that you always want to read to to grow you um yeah. you have online course you have like me at some stage lead optimizer that i want to grow at part time um so there must also always be that fire yeah. within you to do something and also that bigger purpose of why you're doing that. It's, exactly. it's always great to, to, to do something, but why do you do that? Yeah, why do you want to develop myself? Why do you want to start a company like Lead Optimizer? Mm -hmm. Not just for the money, what else? Hi, Yas Basson here. I just want to remind you about the Daily Entrepreneur Tips series. It's a business growth series for entrepreneurs and contains financial information and also information to grow you as a person and your business because we will never grow our business any higher than we grow ourselves. So click on the link below and I will send you daily information to grow you as a person and your business. And it's for 365 days of the year. Do you value yourself? And that's the question I like to ask myself. Do you value the service that you offer, or the value that you bring. And that comes first. I mean, you yeah. first need to value yourself yeah. and yourself. And if only happen when you actually follow your your your, yeah. your purpose. Mm -hmm. um, then most entrepreneurs don't do that. Most most entrepreneurs start a business merely for the money. Yeah. My one business, my finance business, was only about getting a lot of money, and I wasn't fulfilled. I wasn't happy about it. I mean, just it's just a lot of money. Um, so start following your purpose and live that every day, whatever it's worth to you, whatever your worth is, follow that. Start giving as much yeah. as you can in your um, boundary. Yeah. But then when you start delivering service, let the money flow, the right money flow that, that, that you're worth. Yeah. So, but, but a lot of people start business for the money and yeah. chase the money, yeah. the money will come. Yeah. That can't be your number one priority. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, my priority is living your purpose. Mm -hmm. When you start following that, the money will flow. Yeah. Money is very important, but it mustn't be your number one. Even Carmichael always say, it must be in your top five, but it mustn't be your number one. Your purpose must must be your, your, your force that drives you forward, your icky guy, I like to call it, need to drive you forward and not money. Um, if Whenever I see, I work a lot with entrepreneurs and when I see, whenever I see that they their biggest motivator is money, they generally fail because I mean, you can only be so motivated with money for so long. Whenever it comes to like a roadblock in your, in your way, it becomes difficult because you're not motivated because you can't stand up for something bigger than yourself um like, like your ikigai like your purpose which drives you to the point where you want to to go to and like you know it's always there was no there was never ending point it's always a process it's never like like robin Sharma would say it's not never a process or it's never an event it's always a process We've got a new contact today. I mean, yeah. we have been seeing each other on Instagram or yeah. wherever, but we are never connected. Yeah, but from exactly. here we connected. From now, there is a potential relationship that can, can exactly, start. Yeah. But if you don't open yourself 
for that, yeah. nothing can happen. So if you didn't take that first step of opening yourself into the world yeah. and giving, mm. nothing can come back that, because there's no opportunity yeah. to come back. But I mean, there's a lot of people on social media that try to copy the next best thing. They want to try to be like the other person, the other successful person that they see successful. And the most people on social media that, that seem to be successful isn't really successful. That's probably the first lesson. But being authentic, nobody, I mean, God doesn't create extras. Um, he created, created you uniquely, amazingly, just you. If you might feel that, and I've, I'm, I've been there as well, you might feel that, feel that some of your, the way you talk, the way you act, the way you look, doesn't my, my nose is too long or whatever the case may be. Everything that's there has been created to make you unique and make you useful for the world out there. You just need to find that purpose and just start living that purpose. And the, the less you, you worry about what other people think of your uniqueness, the more magic you will create. Your joy needs to guide you. It can be a compass, it can be a GPS, but it guides you towards your joy uh -huh. in those three pla um, uh, subjects, people, places, and pursuits. Uh -huh. So obviously you've got my own perspective on it, but um, people is, I think, very important. I mean, uh -huh. I mean, and because that, People in your personal life influence your business life as well. Yeah. I write down potential mentors, um, friends, whatever the case may be, but the five people I need for the next period in time, whatever it might be for the next year, need to be the people I need to surround myself with. At least have a once a week coffee or a Zoom or yeah. whatever the case may be, be in conversation with them because I know they will be able to grow me in a certain way. Mm -hmm. It might be a personal trainer that that you need to spend more time with that can assist you with be better health yeah. um, and better eating, eating habits. It might be a um, sales, a good, very good sales entrepreneur that can assist you with sales and, mm -hmm. and guide you in to become a better salesperson. So it's no sit in stone kind of yeah. thing, but it's, you need to decide your five kind of people. But more importantly is who's the five toxic people? Mm -hmm. And that's the hard thing because those people can be people that's very close to you. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes can be family, can be very close friends, mm -hmm. people that spend a lot, a lot of time in propaganda that we just spoke mm -hmm. about. I would suggest be friendly, yeah. but keep them out of your boundary of, of, of closeness. Yeah. Um, then because I'm an accountant, I would also mention be financially educated. Um, a lot of entrepreneurs are not financially educated. They make a lot of money, but they, I was going to lose, but they spend so much money because they're not financially educated. So I think that that is something for a lot of entrepreneurs to look into. You know, make a lot of money, follow your purpose, make the money because you're doing that, but also make sure that you either are educated or you have somebody that can can mentor you during that process um, that that can obviously uplift you and um, create a better financial life for you. Because ultimately, we all want to be financially free. We all want to make a lot of money um, as long as it goes, obviously, as I as mentioned, uh, as long as you do it according to your purpose. But, uh, but make sure when you do that, it goes to the, to, to the right um channels the right places and you don't spend i mean i had a conversation the other day with an entrepreneur and then said but this hundred thousand rand to africa is a lot of money to make in a month and he said well this guy only make ten thousand this mark hundred thousand that that guy must be so much better off i told him it's not the truth truth i mean sometimes sometimes people with the ten thousand rand per month is better off than somebody with hundred thousand rand per month merely because they spend their money much better